Hey everybody, this is Roadblock with the Defense Channel. Welcome to Defense Channel News for the week of December 4th, 2022. First up, we got the Gerald R. Ford Carrier Strike Group returns from their maiden deployment. The first in class aircraft carrier, USS Gerald R. Ford, CBN 78, and her strike group returned to Naval Station Norfolk after successfully completing its inaugural deployment throughout the Atlantic while conducting exercises and port visits with allies and partners. The ship set sail from Norfolk, Virginia on October 4th and traveled more than 9,275 nautical miles with the strike group. During the scheduled deployment, Ford operated with eight allies and partners, including Canada, Denmark, Spain, France, Germany, the Netherlands, and Sweden, strengthening interoperability while conducting a wide range of maritime operations and exercises. While deployed, the strike group also participated in exercise Silent Wolverine, demonstrating high-end naval warfare and integrating their operations with NATO allies. Silent Wolverine was an opportunity to train and test capabilities of the carrier while demonstrating U.S. commitment to allies and partners through seamless integration. The sailors participating in Ford's first deployment integrated multiple foreign nations' ships into the strike group to operate efficiently. They made their first port visit to Halifax, Nova Scotia, and their first European port visit to Portsmouth in the U.K. While operating in the Atlantic, Gerald R. Ford hosted 215 distinguished visitors, 175 foreign dignitaries, 46 NATO flag officers and senior enlisted leaders, and more than 60 U.S. and international reporters were aboard. The Carrier Strike Group was made up of the Ticonderoga-class missile cruiser USS Normandy, as well as Arleigh Burke destroyers USS McFall, Ramage, and Thomas Hudner. Ford is the first new U.S. aircraft carrier designed in more than 40 years, introducing 23 new technologies that offer impressive advances to its aircraft launch system, propulsion, power generation, ordnance handling, and more. Next up, the Navy got another Arleigh Burke destroyer. The 73rd Arleigh Burke class destroyer, Lena Sutcliffe Higby, has been delivered to the U.S. Navy. She is named for Chief Nurse Lena H. Sutcliffe Higby, who lived from 1874 to 1941. She was a Navy nurse who served as superintendent of the U.S. Navy Nurse Corps during World War I. Huntington Ingalls Shipbuilding built the ship. The keel was laid in a ceremony in 2017. She was Christian on April 24th of 2021 and delivered to the Navy on November 30th of this this year 2022 next up and this was pretty cool i watched this unveiling live the b-21 raider has been officially unveiled by northrop grumman the defense department unveiled its newest bomber aircraft the b-21 raider friday evening in palmdale california as the first strategic bomber built in more than three decades the air force's b-21 will serve as the backbone of america's bomber force according to defense secretary lloyd austin let's listen to his remarks for a moment this Air Force bomber has been in development for seven years, but its roots go back much further than that. Eighty years ago, on a cold and rainy April morning, four months after Pearl Harbor, 16 U.S. Army bomber planes took off from an aircraft carrier in the Pacific. And then Lieutenant Colonel Jimmy Doolittle embarked on a daring mission. At high cost, he and his team of aviators flew more than 650 miles to strike distant enemy targets. And the Doolittle Raiders, as they came to be known, showed the strength and the reach of American air power. The audacity of the Doolittle Raiders has inspired generations of American aviators. And it's fitting that the next chapter in American air power is named in their honor. The B-21 Raider is the first strategic bomber in more than three decades. It is a testament to America's enduring advantages in ingenuity and innovation. And it's proof of the department's long-term commitment to building advanced capabilities that will fortify America's ability to deter aggression today and into the future. The B-21 Raider is expected to serve within a larger family of systems for conventional long-range strike, including intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance, electronic attack, communications, and many other capabilities. It is nuclear capable and designed to accommodate manned or unmanned operations. Additionally, it will be able to employ a broad mix of standoff and direct attack munitions. Northrop Grumman received the contract to build this aircraft back in 2015. Many of the capabilities are highly classified. The B-21 Raider got its name from being the first bomber aircraft designed and built in the 21st century, as well as also being named in honor of the Doolittle Raiders that bombed the Japanese home islands just four months after the Pearl Harbor attack. 
And last up today, coming from USNI News, the USS Nimitz and Carrier Strike Group 11 have deployed for operations with the U.S. 3rd Fleet. USS Nimitz and her strike group have left for a Pacific Ocean deployment as of 0800 Saturday, December 3rd. The statement from the Navy in the article reads, USS Nimitz departed San Diego, California to conduct operations with the U.S. 3rd Fleet. Nimitz is the flagship for Carrier Strike Group 11 and is ready to answer the nation's call to deliver combat-ready naval forces to deter and, if necessary, win conflicts through sustained forward naval presence. The carrier is deploying with USS Bunker Hill, which happens to be the oldest Ticonderoga class cruiser left in the fleet. Uh, also, USS Decatur, Paul Hamilton, Chung Hoon, Wayne E. Meyer, and Shoot, all Arleigh Burke class destroyers, are deploying as to make up the rest of the strike group. That's all I got for you guys today. This is Roblox with the Defense Channel. I want to thank you guys for watching this latest edition of Defense Channel News, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks.